Hello and welcome everybody to tonight's stream. Tonight we are playing Penny Dreadful Commander, which is a budget-based format, but it is based around ticks instead of dollar dollar bills. This is, I believe, to moderate your cards around their actual demand rather than how many times our Wizards of the Coast overlords have dined to print them out. Because on MTG Online, which uses the tick system, there really are no supply issues. It's just however many times you want to get the card, you can get the card. Um, so everything in our decks is, two, is 0, 0.02 ticks or less, which is in fact not very much at all. So most of these decks, as you may have guessed, are very shitty. Tonight I'm going to be playing uh, Anji, Maid of Dishonor, who is a vampire commander. Whenever, whenever she or any other vampire is ETB, I get a blood token and I can sacrifice shit to drain people. I am joined tonight by Marilink, Manta, and Glauth from our Discord who won a raffle to play in this game. Marilink, do you want to introduce Aura for us? Phenomenal. Manta, tell us about Shu Yun. Up for two generic and one blue. He has three toughness and oh no, sorry, three power, two toughness, and the ability prowess. So whenever I cast a non-creature spell, he'll get plus one plus one until end of turn. And whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I can also pay two hybrid red white. And if I do, I target creature gains double strike till end of turn. So I am here to fight. I'm here to cast spells and fight. Phenomenal. Just guy touch cards the most more ethical way to play Magic the Gathering. Glaoth, tell us about There's no fucking way Quasa is Penny. Hold on. Hold the fucking yeah. phone. This bitch is two, is two <laughs> cents? <laughs> All right, tell us about Quasa. Okay, so when I sat down to make a Penny Dreadful deck, I started thinking about creature types, and I went with the funniest creature type I could think of, which is Cephalids. So I took every single Cephalid card, Legal and Penny Dreadful, and stuck them in a deck, and then thought, what could I do with this? What that ended up turning into is draw-based shenanigans. Very exciting. And also, Marilink, I still had y'all muted for the stream, so if you could just tell us one more time about Aura before Manta Ray <laughs> begins the first turn of the game. Yeah, yeah. So Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant, it's going to be Orzov, Cleric, Tribal. Um, my cute little story, if you don't mind me saying it again, is the first deck I ever built in was like 2003, literally, uh, Onslaught Block, and it was Black White Clerics. So I went and found a black white cleric commander and built a deck around it. Uh, Aura is a 3-3 lifelink. Uh, whenever he or another cleric dies, I get to return a cleric from the graveyard to the battlefield of CMC of equal to or less the cleric that died. So I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of little one and two cost clerics that if any expensive clerics die, I get to do some uh, recursion shenanigans, lots of ETB stuff. It'll be fun. Core bless. All right, and since Manta Ray cheated on the dice roll, they get to go first. So Manta, go ahead. Heck yeah, let's do it. Touch card. Vivid Crag uh, tapped with two counters. Pass turn. Uh, this also is a Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy VII Altar. All right, you do have to hit the pass turn button, which is in the middle on the left side. Middle left side. Isn't it great that every time I play, you have to reteach me how to use this entire it's, format? It's honestly, it's going to be great for the super cut Maltown stream untapped tutorial video we're coming out with. It'll be great for that. Uh, but it's oh like the God. three little arrows. Three little arrows. I am. So that colored bar in the middle. Go oh. all the way over to the left. Find three little arrows. There you go. Found it. I All found right, it. Yeah. I did it. Dylan, I'm so glad untapped. you went first because you would have had to teach I me N. that too. Untap.in, which is a free virtual tabletop 
really phenomenal. Um, Land pass, the way magic is meant to be played. As Richard Garfield intended. I'll do you one better. Tap land pass. Nice. Hmm. Penny dreadful, everyone. <laughs> we don't have uh, any cool a, lands. I'm going to play a land that we may have never seen before. It is a Starlit Sanctum. One colorless, and it has some Orzhov Sacrifice stuff. But I also land pass. What token? Why are you using him? How would I put counters on this Vivid Crag? Uh, there is, if you click on the card, you can, oh, wow. there's a little button for add counters. It's I'm... also you. Uh, my commander is Anjay, made of you... dishonor. It's a, when Perfect. she Thank or you. vampires ETB, I, I get a blood token. Elsewhere. And I can sacrifice right. oh, yeah, not uh, creatures or blood touch tokens card. for a drink. Untap, touch card. Um, island. Put a little threat on the board. And yeah, that is a pass turn. Nice. Scalable, Proper what you turn. Let that load in. Okay, that's not useful. Uh, play land, tap two lands. Uh, play a containment uh, construct. Elite, we're playing on untap.in, uh, which load. Allows you to use a lot of uh, custom arts to bling and out your deck. I have these pass. Paul Blart lands. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna touch a card. Oh, it's about to get shitty. I'm gonna play a Blart art. So uh, I think you all lose 30 life since I played the first Paul Blart card of the game. But I'm gonna tap two. <laughs> yeah, that resolves. Uh, tap two for Dusk Legion Zealot, my very first vampire. I get to draw a card, but I get to lose a life for it, so I'll go down to 39, and then I will pass the turn. All right. This is very no good. No need to game. untap. Draw up. Oh, boy. I want to ramp, Land but pass. I also want to play Blood Mad Vampire to start, getting, to start getting 1-1 one -one counters. Oh, the auto mm. listing for the stream is <clears throat> oh, That's not right. Excuse me. God bless you, Skeletal uh, We I'm will planes. Check that out. And tip tap all the boys to bring in Shu Yun. He's got the freedom colors out. Oh, yeah. America's on the board. Terrifying. Draw. Please. I think I see oil in those swamps. No, other people can plan to get the straight up view. Uh, I much prefer I much prefer untap, player view. Though it doesn't particularly matter because I'm gonna tap all to play a wall of limbs. Excellent. What a powerhouse. Hate that. Mm-hmm. Hate that. What, what do you mean? It's just uh, it's a little wall. Oh, it yeah, doesn't yeah. have anything. Doesn't want to do anything. It's just there. It's just vibing. Anyway, I'm gonna to move to combat and hit Maul for two. Wowzers! I'm gonna block with Dusk Legion Zealot. I forgot you had a creature. Then your containment construct is gonna die. How about that? How about that, genius? I completely, I completely forgot you put a creature on the field. Uh, <laughs> pass turn. Get, get fucking containment kid. constructed on. I too aspire for the confidence to just swing at people without even looking at their board state. Uh, this all right. is, is why you pay attention. Second Blard Art, you all die. I win the game. I'm going to God resolve damn. the card I couldn't believe was legal in Penny. Chromatic Lantern! Uh, and from there, I will pass the turn. So now, now you can hit me for free. Well, shit. Absolutely. All unfinished. right. I will first drop a planes and yeah all right i'm gonna go ahead and play whipgrass entangler tap two until end of turn target creature gains this creature can't attack or block unless the controller pays one for each cleric in play i should tap my lands that's fucked up and pass 
Low key, that's fucked up. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, touch cards. Um, so I think we'll the setup. Down Mount Reno. The setup we want. We is Blood are Mad going to. And Defiler out to give Blood Mad menace. Got to assess the board, I guess. Um, Whomstadiv is Whomstadiv. I see. Now, I want to follow tradition and bully the streamer, but I think I'm going to end... Oh, no. I think I'm going to tap the blue. Cast Artful Dodge on good old Shu Yun here. Oh, shit. Uh, Shandor, this is untapped.in. Hey, Mango. How's it happening? In response, pass priority. Uh, Shaquille, awesome. so we do, um, we do weekly we'll signups. We do weekly signups for these games. We will be announcing the next signups at the end of tonight's stream. Those signups will be available in our Discord. So if you're not in the Discord, get in now. Um, and you may have a chance to play next week. We normally get around like 40 to 60 signups a week, and we draw randomly. Who are you swinging? Blue. Ah, well, shit. Well, shit. The Wall of okay. Limbs player, because certainly this cannot be good in the mid range or the late game. If if only it was a wall of Tim's instead. Damn. Deadass. True. Chris Gia, thank you. I built the gazebo no myself. The only problem is I'm locked um, in. Now. And then yeah, if uh all is well, I think that's past toin. Uh oh. Oh you just took eight? All right. Was. I was in fact supposed to. Yeah, I mean what am I gonna do? Block it? Thank you, Obam Nabals. That's not where I'd like it to be. Uh, I'm gonna play a land that enters tapped, but fortunately I do gain one life, so that's nice. Please, thank you. Wrong oh, yeah. click. I'm also gonna cut in for a second. I set my life back to 40 because I missed my own Bloodfell Caves trigger way back when. Mm. Ryan, this is untapped.in, a free you. virtual tabletop. Uh, Please load. So it gives you sick thank fucking. You. I'll all allow cards. it, Bob. God bless. Uh, you. Uh, Ba -ba 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 -ba. Can't do anything past turn. Alright, I'm going to draw the out. That's the out. It's a blard art. Oh fuck, we're done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, oh, oh shit, oh what fuck. Uh, negative 50 now? Yeah, you're all at negative 100 life now. From there... Uh, I think it's time to get Anji on. Uh, and I'm going to pass the turn from there, but I'm going to make my blood token in the background. Bald, I don't want to correct you in your own house, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Anya. I'm pretty sure they should have spelled it like that. Yeah, probably. Yo, what the fuck is that blood token? <laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> that's not as bad. I thought titties were out on that. I was like, yo. It's pretty bad. Right. Right. As it could be. Why? All right. Untap, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and tap. Uh, yes, crispy. I'm working on the deck list for it tonight. Colorless. Uh, I mean, I posted it like yesterday, and I will so I, the response was way more positive. Than I'm gonna I take out that wall of limbs. Ooh. I do not like the look of it. It's not this is becoming when anything. It's just <laughs> sitting there. It's just a conglomeration of arms. What could go yeah. wrong? It just wants to give you a bunch they of high just have, They just have Kaza mana. What could what could happen? Come on. All right. Yeah. So I've got an open swamp, yeah. and I pass the turn. Let's do an untap all. Uh, Prince Quincy, the stream has been great. We cards. had a incredibly successful arena stream Monday. Hmm. Um, a lot of very generous super chatters, which was mostly which was very appreciated. But we also had a lot of people talking. A lot Ooh, of people having I like fun. That. So the streams have been going phenomenal. Dang! If I only had and I really one like more playing manner. these community games. No, I do not like that you're saying that. Um... Skelebone, everything's free. On untap and cockatrice, <laughs> which I just it, posted though. a YouTube short about, uh, um, all free. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking at the mauled field with a four five. Um It's just a like so, friendly four or five though. Four or five for four, that's <laughs> gross, man. I know with a paragraph of text that's Yeah, but it's in vampires and vampires suck, you guys. Come on. Yeah, no one <laughs> no one's worried about the vampires. Need to be worried about the glampires. I mean you, you do have Vincent Valentine True. Final Fantasy Seven on the board. True. That's about as glampire as it gets. Uh let's see. Can we gosh. Cast Rune Chanter's Pike? No responses from me. Uh trigger Shu and trigger prowess. Uh give him the double double. And then we're going to go ahead and flashback yeah, egg, the Artful Dodge. Egg Scout, this is untapped.in. I would like to please move that to my exile. Is that resolved? <clears throat> Sorry. That resolved, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From me. From me. Um, trigger Prowess again. So it's oh. a 5-4 double strike. Unblockable. Oh, boy. Now I will swing the streamer. Thank right. you. I take my 10 and I will set a counter for uh, for commander damage. Please and thank you, and that will be my power turn. Oh, I forgot turns. about that. I forgot about commander damage. It do Drop. be commander damage. Um, can I have my card, please? Okay. Uh, All right. Well, now we just can't. I'm just let, gonna can't let Matt have shit. Or play my commander. If they if things could tap, that'd be so cool. So I probably want to discard Blood Mad just to madness it. Like just to cycle it for maybe something better Please. with the blood token Untap. and then madness it out. Okay. Can we... Okay, and then pass turn. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw my out real quick. I've done it. Another blart. It's another blart art. Uh, God damn. That actually, it actually might be my out because of how much mana some of this bullshit needs. So I'm gonna tap one blart art. Tap uh, the blood token. I'm going to discard the blood mad vampire into exile because it has a madness cost. And then I'll sacrifice the blood token to draw a card. Oh my God, it's my out. Uh, then I'm going to tap one and a red to play the blood mad vampire for its madness cost. Then uh, I'm going to tap one, two, three for the Celestis. So it's now daytime because oh, we're keeping boy. track of that bullshit now, but I uh, will keep track of it for all of us. And finally, finally, I'm going to tap the Celestis and then untap it because I realized that's not the optimal play. And then... We love mana dancing. We love mana dancing. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Lightshade, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. All Eric, right, thank you for coming by. Yes, I stream, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Pacific. I do arena streams Mondays, Commander with my Discord Wednesdays, Variety Thursdays. So tomorrow's either going to be League of Legends or Hades. Just a mana rock. Or is that blue stone? Oh shit! They're ramping. And then, um, oh, we we ramping. Here, get them. We ramping. All right, and then I'll tap the clue stone in a swamp to play war priest of Thun. Two two. When it enters the battlefield, I may destroy target enchantment. Uh, that is not relevant right now. Um, but it might be later. 
You just want to send a message and that you could. I could, yeah, I could, I could. Mostly, I just wanted another, another little, another little guy out there. Another uh, silly little pass. guy. That's what clerics are. We're just a bunch of silly little guys. Sure, sure. With unwavering mm -hmm. devotion. Untap, upkeep, touch cards. That is something. Um, options? Considering? On my next turn, I probably need to spend my mana dumping. Do we do to... instead? Same manners? Because uh, Manta, so Manta we have to is running. Your, your consider? Manta is the only, run, um, only one I'll running. Put on a okay. tournament deck. The rest of us just scryfall brood some random bullshit. What? And so I am most afraid just of Just Kai Banner. Okay. Uh, Honest man Trigger around. Prowess. True. Yep, yep. Uh, trigger the boy. Oh, I missed my blood token trigger. Pay for the boy's abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, double strike. Let's Hmm. Gabriel, this is untap.in, which is another the free only person I haven't top. hit is Merrillink. So, respectively, I am going to swing at you for four, three, double strike. All right, and it, it's not unblockable this time, right? It is not unblockable. Okay, so I will block with my War Priest. I will slap it first, and it gets slapped. That's why I wanted that guy out there. Well, excellent. That seems to be everything I'm able to do. Cool. I'm going to draw. Load in. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to gain a life off of the draw. You all are going to lose a life. Oh, cheating. Not in the slightest. So I think we gleefully. Uh, it's target in. opponent, right? Uh, oh, it's target. Yeah, you do have to pay. Oh shit! You you right. Um, mall town. Hey Bias. yo. <laughs> target. Dude, if it was if it was all opponents lose when you draw, that would be not an uncommon. Yeah. Probably not well, in this format. I am going True. to tap four to play a. Cliffhaven Vampire, uh, two four flap. Whenever I gain life, each opponent loses one life. So now it does hit everybody. Now okay, it's basically there you go. That. Now I definitely need to deal. With yeah. The game in case now it see. does do what I thought it did. It is what it do, Yugi. It is what it do. Um. Okay. I'm then going to. Yes. Just swing with my commander would not do anything good. I am going to. Mm. Everything is so scurry right now. And it turns out all the good instant speed interaction is not in this format. Uh. Yeah, let's just play some bombs. I'm going to tap seven. Oof. And I'm going to play Butcher of Malakir, but down bad. And then I am going to... Oof. Uh, I'm going to pass uh. from there. I'm going to pass from there. All right. <clears throat> Fun tap draw. Planes. We have a lot and of synergies we want to get that, to, but if we start swinging, the crack back is going to be one, two, lethal. three, four, and I'll bring out Aura, my commander. Aura, Aura, three, three, life link with some recursion shenanigans. Uh, with my two open, I will 
do nothing yet. Um, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and swing at Mana Ray for one with my Whip Grass Entangler. I feel like that's targeted. I should have been at 39, so I'm just going to go to 38. Sexy one again. The yeah. secret 2 3 Whip Grass Entangler. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing on second main. Go ahead and pass. Uh, Obamna, it's untapped. I remember that. Am. Upkeep. Touch cards. <laughs> Everyone disliked that. Island. Oh, they have two um, islands now. We're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's over. It's fucking over for you bitches. Um, that is game. Checking everybody's board state at the moment. Considering I've I don't like any of it. Creatures that don't do anything and also only four lands. Please leave me alone. Thanks. No, it's so too I threatening. Think, I really don't appreciate it. I think I might just um, blow it Next turn. And don't worry, my hatred will be indiscriminatory. No, Cobalt, you're good. I'm, I will tell I'm illiterate. Yeah, sure. All. I can't read, and streamer brain is very much a thing. So it is helpful because I am looking back and forth too often. Um, I don't, I don't have anything, but I'd like you not to. What the fuck could you be tapping? Oh my god! Here's to the swine for four. How the fuck is that point oh two ticks? Because it's a silly little it's, card, um... isn't it? I just want to turn all your guys into silly little piggies. Yeah, yeah. Um, target Quaza, target Aura, target uh, Anya or Angie, and then also Butcher of Malakir. It's not like that either. But they all get to be 2-2 green boar creature tokens. But all those creatures are exiled. Not even graveyard. Um, yeah, but move to command zone, so. Yeah, move to command zone. Uh, oh, yeah, how yeah. does one get a boar? So on the left side of the screen, there's going to be like a little menu of buttons. The uh, insert, right. third from the top is insert card slash token. If you go over to tokens, you can type in 2-2 boar and you'll find something pretty quick. Asriel, we're using untap.in, which I like the look of it more than Cockatrice. It just doesn't run as good. And then um, with my 4-3 not double strike, I will swing at Mirror Link and show you. All right, I will, in response, I'm gonna tap planes in one and activate whipgrass entangler uh, ability until end of turn target creature gains you can't attack or block unless you pay one for each cleric uh, have I only have cleric. one cleric but you have no mana so I have a Jeskai banner I'll tap for that Ooh. oh dang it okay shoot I was looking at your uh putting your mana rocks above your lands is uh is I don't like decision. my artifacts in my lands uh, All right. My artifacts go with my artifacts. How, how much is it? Just three. Uh, Joseph. Four. Joseph, right? We are playing Penny Dreadful, which is a budget limited format going off of MTG Online ticks prices. So every card we're playing with is zero point zero two ticks or less. Doug, this is Untapped. In. Are you gonna yell That's at Malhound for having the Celestis above his lands? I did not yell at anyone. I just I just merely pointed it out. That is not a land. But I'd like to be hyperbolic. Hmm. Yeah, Cobalt. That's no, I'm also me. I'm also a mana I'll rocks. Four life is punishment for not reading the board state correctly. Lands are always on the lands are always on bottom. Hmm. I need lands. I'm gonna play a Space and Thief. I'm not pronouncing Thank that you, correctly, Fridge. but I, I don't care. It very much. Um, for three, so I'm just gonna untap that white. Um, I fuck it. I've got them on the left. I'm gonna also play a Elixir of Immortality. Go on the field. Thank you. Planes, please stop. Thank you. Uh, still don't have six lands. I'm just chilling. Pass. 
All right, I'm going to untap. I'm going to curse Manta Ray's name. I'm going to draw my out. Uh, Valid. And, well, I mean, since now I was trying to decide who I wanted to have beef with, but now since I know who I have beef with, I'm going to tap for five to uh, Lacerate Flesh targeting Shu Yun. So that is four damage on the stack coming towards uh, your boy. Mm, my boy's in danger. He is, and I have no he mana is, to respond with, so indeed. he is going to the command zone. Great. Then I'm going to make two blood tokens because I get blood tokens equal to excess damage. Now it's about to get fucking swifty. Y'all ready for this shit? So first, no. I'm going to tap a swamp for red because I have a uh, chromatic lantern. I'm going to uh, gleeful demolition targeting... Um, I'm going to target the Rune Chanter's Pike because that shit is scary. And then you don't even want the goblins. I was going to no. say you're not going to target Celestis for the goblins. No, I that was that was token? that was my original plan was target a blood token, and then I realized how insanely dead I am if you resolve Shu Yun with Rune Chanter's Pike and literally anything that allows you to touch me ever again. <laughs> so then I'm going to hit you in the face, or I'm going to declare. Four damage at your face with the blood mad vampire. My not the face. I have my moisturizer on. Oh no! Yeah, that plus X plus zero for instance and yeah, sorceries. That's been that's done to not... me. I've been hit with that with Narset decks in Arena, and it really is just like because in my head I was like, oh, I'll draw another response. What's like one turn? And then I realized telling yourself what's one turn against Jeskai prowess is never acceptable. Uh, so then blood mad will get a one one counter. And I'm all out of uh, out of mana for tricks, and so I'll pass. I'm sorry, she sister traumatized you, but please don't take it out on me. <laughs> My friend, you just exiled all of our commanders on one turn. We this. <laughs> <laughs> I think the mm -hmm. only thing you could do at this point is play an infect card if you wanted to get more targeted. <laughs> all right. Dante, thank you for the song. What I'll I do... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the banana. Um, yeah, you know what? I think the easiest thing is to just tap 6. Uh, high planes, can I tap you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come on. I gotta stack them a little bit further apart and bring my commander back out. So Aura's back on the field. So I can play Defiler um, into... While there is nothing on that board, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swing for three at Manta Ray. My gosh, this is starting to feel a little, uh, a little targeted. Never pop off first. Gee, I wonder Never pop off first. why. <laughs> All I know. Fridge, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. When I'm building a commander deck, do I have an upper limit for how much I spend on a given deck? Uh, I don't have a strict limit, but when I'm building decks to, like, actually buy, which is incredibly rare, I'm limiting it to, like, I'm not going over 100. Like, otherwise, I'm just I'm just going to proxy it and then see if I like it, and then maybe one day I'll, I'll buy it. But for the most part, like, if I see a card that's over $2, I'm, re I'm highly questioning if it's worth including. If it's for something online like this, I don't pay attention... I don't pay attention to costs at all, uh, which is one of the reasons I love Untap and Cockatrice because it lets me play the whole game without caring about being poor. Uh, but for like, in paper, I want to have all the official copies. My most expensive deck right now is like 110 or 120 or something. Thank you. Blue pairs tapped out to all your cool stuff comes first. Can we untap? Thank you. Draw one. Load. Thank. Well, Egg Scout. Part of that is also that I came from I came from like MOBAs, like League of Legends and Dota, and so to me, the idea of like paying that much for a card, it's not like paying for a skin. It's like paying for a hero, and I I was balking at the idea of like you want me to pay it all just to play like the basics of the game um 
And so, like, I really don't mind spending money on nice art things because I, because they look nice. Oh, shit's happening. Oh, they, oh, Lord, they tapping out. Please. That, untap, please. Please. It, it doesn't like Esper, is why. I talk at Trice is just, it runs better. Uh, psychic pickpocket. So I can I... Uh, and then I return Shuyun to your hand because no. Um, in response, I'm gonna politely ask you to not. But, uh, Pretty, I'll go please. Well, in response Pretty, to please. that, I'm going to look at Mald's board. Nothing interesting. Da, da, da. Yeah, no. Shuyun's going back to your hand. All right. Shuyun's back in the house. Um, not really draw one. Either. Yeah, like dropping a lot of money because the card looks sick. I have no qualms. Um, I just don't. What do I I hate actually, yeah, I'm gonna put Dread like, Return in my oh, graveyard with want, the Connive Trigger. I just want to like play. Which I just, just want to do for the game. Ask what you're conniving for. But if it looks dope as hell, okay. Can I add a yeah, counter, sure. please? I just do that very rarely. Untap, untap. Thank you. Uh, add counter. Exactly, okay. Spoosh. Thank you, Prince. Thank that's you. what there was a bounty out before. It was it was found. Now it's been found, and I think we're all waiting okay. to see if that um, store. And then I'm going up. to ask. No, actually, that's a lie. I'm going to swing for yeah five. Mm, am I done bullying the player who popped off? Maybe. Five, no, eight. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna swi swing five at Manta Ray. Uh, drawing a card off of just saying thief. Yeah, I mean the listen the combat damage trigger. You never feel especially combat damage draw a card. Never feel bad about that. The other two, yeah, you're going to hell, but you know that's whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, and I lose a life because of your boy, right? Because uh, my uh, no boys it's, don't have mana to cast boys, so yeah, d no. they don't have the life gain part of the trigger. Oh, I forgot dude didn't have life gain or lifelink himself. That would be a good card. A better card. Yes. Uh pass. Well, Araya, only Please. one of us. Thank you. Uh mm. I will untap, upkeep, draw my fucking out. It's my other blard art. Oh and no. Then... Oh my god. We can oh, only I be so that, dead. I think that is low-key and out for me in this game, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to tap one, two, three, four. Uh, Defiler of Flesh moment. So I get to I get to pay life instead of um, one of my black pips. And whenever I cast a black permanent, I give plus one, plus one, and menace to a creature I control. So then, I am going to cast, I think I can cast my commander, because she costs six right now, I have, no I can't, I counted like an idiot, but I can cast this. The Defiler does not look like a vampire. I won't say it's not effective. Like it. uh, so I'm going to go down to 27, paying two life for the Vampire Scrivener. Um, it's just a flying 2-2, but whenever I gain or lose life on my turn, they get a 1-1 one, one counter. And because I've cast a black permanent spell, I'm going to give the Blood Mad Vampire plus 1, plus 1, and Menace. And I'm going to swing at... I'm going to swing at Marilyn mm. for 6. Mauled is become problem. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Just because I have all these cool, really effective creatures? I don't know what you mean. I go to 30. And you were worried about my one monk with party right. tricks. And then uh, Blood Mad is going to get a 1-1 counter because it dealt combat damage. And from there, uh, I'm going to pass. Fowler of Flesh does not look like a vampire, but it does look like a Castlevania boss. So it's got the it's got the spirit, you know? This is true. Joe, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. Quincy, I haven't right. seen Hypnotist. 
Let's start out. Mm. So the I first thing I'll do is tap one, two, three, four, four, utter end. And I'm going to target that Defiler of Flesh because I really don't like where that's going. Hey, yo. So exile that's, that. That's actually fine. And then... We can super uh, live with that. Uh, we're then just I'm going to play... That's, that's, that's gonna, not the right card. I'm going to tap fucking body breaks planes, or uh, play another white and from the clue Falcon stone, and a colorless. Play Banisher Priest. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature uh, until it leaves the battlefield. And I'm with that, I'm going to target the Cliffhaven Vampire on Vlado's board. Uh, da, ba, da, ba. I'm not doing anything. That's just what turns so, my commander into a hit everybody machine. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if I can. Uh, can yeah. I bring that to my board under the card, or do we just have to remember that? I'm, not, I'm just gonna bring. I it think over. it'll be can easier I... if we just um, just like put a counter on Banisher Priest so that we remember there's something under it. Um, okay. okay, and then move thing to graveyard or exile. Yeah, same thing. Okay, we can just we can just remember that. Trust us to remember that. There's no way um, to let us forget. Never. Good point. Good point. And then I will send uh, Aura at, what's Glaude has got? 3-2? Okay. I'll send Aura at Manta Ray and a Boar at I will say Glaude. it is a 4-3 actually because counter. Uh, it's still okay, a that's actually, that's been, actually, that does make a difference. People have been casting spells every turn. Yes. Um, thank you for letting me know. I'll send... The boar. Alfred Zyle and to... Thank you very much for the sub. Uh, the person with no creatures on the board. So five going to Manta Ray. Oh, lovely. Three of it is lifelink. In response, I'm going to cry. And. Uh, you mean yeah. scry without the S? Mm hmm. Oh, that's a great, like, uh, MTG parody cover band name. Uh, pass. Tap, touch cards, pray. So what I want hmm. is, huh? I mean, I want to get, I want to get Anya back out, and then so I need six. Two without the E was two, a three, song, four, right? Five, six. Oh, and then I can do a sack thing, and then that'll give me the first trigger for Vampire Scrivener. Not familiar myself, but I'm gonna get Shuyun back on the board. Because once again, I do one thing and I do it well. Um, tap. Come on. Do I really need to move you to your own spot? I know you exist. Please. Thank you. Tap another three. Uh, throw Sunforger down on the field. Hey, yo. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Mm -hmm. You didn't like the uh, the pike, huh? <laughs> was that just let, let's have a friendly conversation? <laughs> <laughs> that one to turn Shu Yun into Thor, so but that'll have to be next turn. Okay. Uh, remember that untap is a step. Draw a card. Okay, so they have enchantment destroying. Thank you. Thank you. That's not quite funny yet. I don't know what truffle uh, is. Spoosh. Play a, more about a swamp, and then tap everything to get my commander back. Can I untap, no, you, please? You can't, you can't have it. Untap, please. Can I tap? Thank you. And tap, please. Okay, so I think... I do think just Valentine into Crack a Blood Token to pump. Alright, I will move...
jump to my very legal and cool untap step, draw the out. That's how many blarts just untapped. So many cards. It's the Blarmy. Uh, I'm going to pay <laughs> six for my commander with their commander tax. Because they entered, I'm going to get a blood token, but I'm going to tap two and sack that blood token, so I'm not going to bother making it. Uh, each opponent loses two life. I gain two life, and because I gained That's two life, rude. the Vampire Scrivener, which is, I think it's Scrivener, but Scrivener gets uh, one 1-1 one, one counter, making them a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, and then let's think about combat, combat wombats. Um, none of which are phenomenal options. Uh, I think I'll pass from here. All right. Yeah, I'll look into that. I appreciate that. Uh, move that four over. Oh, I'm my going blood tokens to are all behind my big ass forehead. Tap one. So from here, I think two. we can try and Actually, drain one, people two, away. The, three. The biggest danger that we're in at this moment is if Manta puts this on Shu Yun and makes Shu Yun unblockable. A white or a black. If I do, each one it loses one. I gain that much life. Okay. Also, when it enters the battlefield, I can pay any amount of life. Target opponent reveals that many cards from his or her hand. You may choose one of them and exile it. So I will pay three. Whoops. And look at Maud's hand. That's so fucked up of you, Bestie. Why, thank you. Um, all right. I'm revealing one at a time. Just to reveal it only to you. I'll be real. Ooh, you're pretty. Okay. Fucked. You're you're pretty fucked no matter what you pick. I'll be real, but um, there's two good mm -hmm. options. Yeah. Ugh. I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do uh, discard the Anno on the Ruin Sage. A fair a fair play. Although actually that might have helped against Shu Yun, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, oh uh, well. I've been thinking that through all the way. Yeah, I mean, so the uh, the one you chose is the one that was going to help hold everyone else's board down the most. The one you didn't cho choose is the one that's going to help my board pop off the most. So if you want to stop me from popping off, I'd pick the other one. If you want to uh, yeah. stop me from making you sack things, then Anna wants the right choice. I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm gonna choose uh, Falcon Wrath. So uh, sorry for taking that back, but I, I'm gonna choose no, Falcon good. Wrath instead. Uh, of... You are gonna have to take a get shit on counter. That's fair. Where do I, where do I add new counters over here? I'll do that later. So, all right. Uh, yeah, so Falcon Wrath Noble is exiled from my hand. Uh... Glenn, okay. that's probably the only the next thing I'm gonna do is duress. legitimate answer I would have accepted for Oh fuck. Oh, it's called a confessor. Okay. God bless you, because you uh made me lose life. Oh, it's during my turn, so that doesn't happen for sure. Yeah, only during your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, fuck you. Uh and for duress I'm going to target uh, I'll target Glaive because he's got the most cards. That's rude. Um, reveal all oh, two. Oh, Casey, thank you. Uh, Merlin, uh, Glenn, Glenn, yeah. That is probably the only legitimate reason I would have accepted for Lord of the Rings sucking on flavor is my Sauron deck lost to a feasting hobbit. Real as hell. Real as hell. Ban the set. I will, I will discard Mausoleum Secrets. Rude. Finish things out. I'm gonna swing a boar to Manta Ray, and these pigs have consequences. Yeah, these pigs do have actually. consequences. 
<laughs> that's, that's, Booyah, I'm pretty actually, sure it's just the, the two at Manta Ray. Keeping everything else um, up. Hey. Kill your commander right, over it. it. <laughs> no, honestly. I'll take it. All right. Pass turn. I mean, Glenn, it does have an yeah, evasion at, in the sense exhausting. of being... Oh, um... yeah, they have to make decisions. It's wild. Oh, no. Ring bear um... isn't evading like that. I mean, but like, hitting hard is what army gets. Considering Armies hit hand... hard. Armies aren't evasive. Dance a little bit with this here mana. Okay. I am going to tap three, right? I know you told me. Equip Sunforger to Shuyun. So he's okay. got the hammer now. It's fucked up of you. So he's a 7 2. That's rude. That is true. And. Hmm. And making him a blockable again would just be really spicy. That'd I wish I could. Rude AF. Rude, rude AF of you. I think if they make him unblockable... I could activate the Sunforger's ability and double the time it takes to do my turn. But instead... Uh, Raff and Dog, I have no idea. I mean, we named it, I think, like, Broke Vicious only. Does uh, man have Double Strike? No, because I just equipped. That's all I've done this turn. He has to cast the spell first. Uh, very much like the Star Compass. Go we'll into the battlefield tap. Uh, trigger prowess, trigger Shuyun. Pay the price, pay the toll. God damn it! So now, uh, we got eight three double strike, and I'm gonna throw it at Marilink. All right, in response, I am going to convoke three. Oh my god, motherfucker got convoke? And play Devouring Light, exile target attacking creature. You, you, you forced Be my hand. Be beautiful. Uh, Shaquille, the cost restriction is 0 0.02 ticks So that goes back. Lower. I think it's the second time you're the losing your commander. The format is called so, Penny Dread. Four, four on tax, yeah. Uh, so and they're the not all... people who are actually doing things fight each other. <laughs> we, are, we are very close to this becoming an official cyberbullying stream. <laughs> No, I just responded. I just responded, y'all. I went from starting fights to fighting for my goddamn life. Yeah, this is a crazy first two yeah. turns you had, though. It wasn't that great, in the, man. I'm really more the person I was out. back then. You were officially in the find out phase. Yeah. <laughs> great. Uh, remember to untap. Draw. Draw something funny, hopefully. Hmm. Not funny, uh, but I do gain a life, and I'm gonna flick mauled in the eyeball. Damn, that is not that's not very real or based of you. 
Yeah. This Scrivener Sorry. only working on my turn is so much worse than I thought it was. I was like, this is the best <laughs> card ever. How the fuck is this Penny Dreadful? And it's because it yeah. sucks. It's because it sucks ass. I, on your turn is uh, is pretty hampering. You didn't really didn't think how many turns in this game just weren't yours, were you, did you? Seventy five percent of the turns in this game are not yours. I'm gonna pay a white and a black. Please untap. Thank you. Um, to play a the scope of guild mage, which ain't doing a lot right now, but is not doing nothing. Um. Kind of looks like nothing. And then I'm gonna pay for to play a Well of Lost Dreams. Oh Lord. Don't worry about it. Um. Now that one says whenever. Yes. Uh. And then I'm go so Jahesen Thief has. Prowess twice, so it is a 3 5. I'm gonna hit Mana Ray because I'm sorry, but you don't have any blockers, and I want my draws. Uh, so I'm gonna hit you after three. Draw a card, gain a life. This is going from justified retaliation to hate crime really oh, quick. Oh, yeah, I know. This is, um, is very I responded. Of us. I responded. I would, I would just like to throw that out there. Um. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. Unfortunately, to Maltster. All right, I'm gonna untap, draw my out. Fucking dicks. Uh, this might actually be an important out though. So first, I'm going to tap five lands for Anawan on the Rune Sage. So at the beginning of my upkeep, everybody sacrifices a non-vampire creature. Um, and then, uh, oh, Blaulith, how did you get two prowess triggers? Somebody just mentioned that. Uh, I played the Guild Mage and then the Well of Lost Dreams. Prowess Wait, is it non-creature? Yeah, Prowess is non-creature. I so that swear I can read. One, uh, so one desperate, desperate, desperate point of health back to Manta Ray. Thank you, Obama Balls, for catching that. I swear um, I can. hero. Yeah, and then we're going to tap two more to sacrifice a blood token. Uh, to gain two and make everybody else lose two. Rude. Because I gained life sacrifice. on my turn. We we did have to sacrifice a uh, creature, right? No, it's on so my it's that's on my upkeep. So Anawan has to make it survive the table. Uh, one more go around before you have to start sacrificing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to swing the blood mad vampire who is a 5-3 at Marilink. I will take the, it's just, it's 5-3 you said? Yeah, just a 5-3, the, that's the only attacker I'm declaring. I will take the 5. Alright, they will I get cannot. a uh Oh, sorry. They were a um, six three because I'm bad at math. That's that's okay. And, I and still... then they'll go up to seven four. Um, and then in main phase two, I'm going to tap the Celestis, and I'm going to cast uh, Deface, tar choosing destroy target artifact targeting the Well of Lost Dreams because there is no fucking way that ends well that for any of us. Is very rude of you. Uh, and then, God damn it. and then, oh, I forgot, I get to make a blood token because I cast a vampire. Uh, and oh, then I'll pass the turn. It. All right. Untap draw. Swamp. Uh, I will pay one, two, 
three, four, five. Hmm. For a Scion of the Swarm, three, three flyer. Whenever I gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Scion of the Swarm. Uh, and when I do that, I will also tap uh, one Swamp to extort off his Culpa Confessor, so everybody loses a life and I gain free life. And when I gain those, those life points, I put one plus one plus one counter on Scion. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that it's not limited to only your turn. It's kind of fucked up. That's yeah, wild, right? It probably costs eight mana if you want to if you want to get counters on other people's turns, I guess. <laughs> and then I will swing a. Four. No. Yeah, I'll swing a boar at... Yeah, right. This is live. This is live. Commander game with my Discord. Swing aura and a boar both at Malt. Uh, one second. Chad has once again caught us being unable to read. Extort is a cast trigger. So that happens... Uh, before your vampires entered the battlefield, it happens when. Ah, uh, so it doesn't get stack. the plus one, plus yeah, one. So it doesn't get the counter. Okay, God I still you. extort. You still extort. We still all lose the life. It just doesn't get that one counter. So you said you're swinging an aura, and a boar at me, correct? Yes. All right, and the boar is a two-two, and aura is a three-three. Yep. Uh, I'm going to check your fucking graveyard real quick. Okay, there are no important enchantments. So I don't care about you getting them back. I'm going to block your commander with um, Vincent Valentine. And I'm going to block your boar with the Vampire Scrivener. Okay. Uh, in response to you declaring blockers, I'm going to tap uh, planes uh, off of Locket and one colorless on Whipgrass Entangler and give your commander can't attack or block unless you play one for each cleric. That is going to... I'm going to let this slide this turn. Here's one thing we do need to address. That doesn't work after somebody declares the attacker or blocker. You do have to activate that ability before they're declared. Oh, really? Yeah, because okay. it says the cost is paid as attackers or blockers are declared. So if I declare something as a blocker and then you put the cost on it, there's no declaring that happens after that. So you can do it as you declare attackers, but I don't believe you can do it after a blocker has already been declared. But chat can correct me if my reading is correct. But it will stand for this time because I hadn't been thinking okay. about it. I was, I was thinking of like Arena where there's that little step after declaring yeah, blockers you're passing before priority, damage. Which is... Well, right. If but if you do it, then that doesn't work because the blocker is already declared. Like if you, if I assign oh, something as a, like if I like if I assigned I it as a blocker and then you killed it, your damage doesn't go through because the blocker was assigned. So this is kind of the same thing where even if you make them, uh, make them have a cost to pay to block if they've already been declared as an attacker or a blocker then the cost doesn't do anything because the trigger condition doesn't come up. Because that Got the ability it. is saying, pay to if you want to declare this creature as an attacker or blocker, but at the point where it's already been declared, nobody has to take the action anymore. Okay. You see, so when it said this cost is paid as they're declared, I thought... You, yeah. I thought you, the order was what I did, but okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so, then the card would be fucking insane. That's kind of what I was thinking, so that makes sense. Um, how about how about this? Since it's my inability to read, um, we can just let that fizzle. Like you don't have to take any damage. I don't gain okay. any life, but I'll leave everything tapped and and all that. Okay. Is that is that a fair compromise? That's right. You can also just run back the main phase if you weren't gonna t declare attackers. Like, listen, reading is impossible. I fuck it up every day and in every single way. So now, now that we have a collective group understanding of the card, just do what you were going to do with the correct understanding. Okay. I'll send a boar at you. You motherfucker. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going Thanks to... for the clarification. I do appreciate that.
Yes. Um, so I'm going to declare uh, Anya as a blocker for the board. All right. Four dice. And then they sack tap and die. And I sincerely apologize to everybody, and I pass the turn. Oh, no, you're good. We fuck up far, far worse rules things every single day. Yeah. Anyone and everyone who watches Mall Town is illiterate. True. So. More or less. Wow. Not cards I want, but maybe the cards I need. Not really, but, you know, I wanted to say the line. Um, tap cards like crazy. Then we will... Charm Breaker Devils. Vu, yes. So after um, after Marilink declares wait. attackers, they can use it no. to stop can I take one that of my things. Uh, yeah, if you want to do it, go ahead. Takes these backs, these counters, and tap into. Because I think I did what we call in the professional industry uh, a whoopsie daisies. A fucky wucky. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so they just can't do because it. Because I don't want to put to down a creature that waits for my upkeep. Make me oh, take that creature yeah. straight to the graveyard. Yeah, and on the Rune Sage did def did definitely tell everybody not don't come to school tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Literally. Um, so you can declare it after you declare your attacker. Like it's really good if you have a creature and I only have like one good creature to block with. Uh, that resolves these on my end. Are the three cards? and go ahead and discard my Lando. Mm -hmm. And with all these pretty new cards, uh, well, sh blah, blah, blah. Hmm, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Hmm, piss my pants and cry. Yeah. I'm going to tap four and play Jace's Sanctum. I was going to say something else, but you know, I'm going to keep it a little bit above third grade right now. Uh, <laughs> and I think that is going to be the power play of the year. Oh, yeah. Pass coin. Okay. Can I pop back like a god? I am really um, impressed with how well these the answer is no, I cannot. Like, obviously, a commander game with, like, Mana Crypt and all that bullshit would go faster, but this is still, like, people are tr doing some stuff. Um... Yeah, Boo. Or if, like, if, the, if your opponent only has one thing to attack with, when they ask to move to combat, oh, uh, you oh, can right. respond I gain a life too. and I'm once again going to flick Maldhound in the eyeball. Hey, yo. I'm going to, in response give Vampire Scrivener a dirty fucking look for not working like I want them to. Uh, fair enough. Um, I'm gonna also be mad that I can't draw six cards because someone killed my Well of Lost Dreams. Oh, very real of you, yes. Mm, yeah. Uh, tap a blue. Okay. Play a Hypnotic Grifter. Not Can having the load, please. Not having the that, defiler um, defiler to use with the scrivener really fucking hurts. Obamna, it's for the purposes of that interaction, responding to the blocker being declared doesn't do anything. Sure. Because we're gonna, still talking uh, about this, so if you uh, respond with this after cool. blockers are already length? declared, uh, untap, please. then it doesn't do anything. Tap. 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 Okay, we're gonna pretend I tap four four lands, uh, okay. and I'm gonna play a search the premises. So whenever someone swings at me, uh, I investigate. Got it. Uh, move the combat. Just see and thief again at mon. Uh, yeah, manatee. I'm sorry, but also I want my draw sugar. Draw a card. Twenty. Um, 
Yeah, so this is the four player grid view. I do not like it compared Click to. Click Mod in the eyeball with the draw trigger. All right, so we got was... mad beef. I've hit you for twice. I, I, mad that's... beef. That's a two piece Happy combo, no biscuit, twice. my homie. Can we please? Okay, the lands are refusing to tap. Um. And that. What's up, C Bass? Is turn. Yeah, pass. All right. It is officially untap Anawan time. Everybody sacrifice a non vampire creature. Imagine having creatures on the board. Could it be me? Imagine. Hmm. Uh, bye bye, boar. I will. Sack. I'll sack Whipcrafts and Tangler just so we don't have any more shenanigans. I, I, I paid the <laughs> price. Um, but I do get a trigger off of uh, Aura. Um, I, get to return a I get to return a cleric to the battlefield. Well, with lesser cost, right? With lesser cost, and Whipcrafts is three, War Priest is two. Oh, okay. I thought Whipcrafts was a two and cost, then yeah. And when War Priest of Thune uh, enters the battlefield, I'm a destroy target enchantment. Uh, I am going to destroy uh, Search the Premises. God, please. Damn. Every single engine I get out is just gone instantly. Mono, <laughs> this is untapped.in. Uh, you know, Manta Ma uh, um whatever it is, is also tempting, but but they're also about to fucking die. <laughs> yeah, so I would like so to play we, at least one more turn before yeah, so I kick the bucket. Them. Okay, I am going to. Like, I think you've all collectively assured that I'm not getting this one. I'm gonna accidentally draw an arrow, but I'm gonna tap two mana, uh, sacrifice a blood token to gain two and make you all lose two. Scrivener will get another counter. Then I am going to send two boars, uh, just two boars at... Wouldn't you have had to sack one of them? Uh... Oh yeah. Each player. Yep, now sack a boar. Um, and then I'll swing one boar, and yeah, let's get funky. I'll swing the boar and the blood mad vampire at Glaus. God damn it! Blood mad is a seven four. Seven four right now. I would do something about oh. that. Nah. Very rude of you. Um. I, this is not a good deck. I will. My guild mage is gonna block your boar. My uh, pickpocket is gonna block your vamp. Uh, everything dies. Okay. In response to you declaring your blockers. God damn it. Tap this. Uh, I'm going to play costly plunder, sacrificing the. Actually, no. No, everything will die. Uh, oh, but I'm cool. still going to play Costly Plunder. I'm just going to sacrifice a blood token instead. Because it says a artifact or creature. A bloken! I'm going to sacrifice one of my blukens. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to hopefully draw some outs right now. There it is. Three out. Not really. Uh, oh. I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to choose Vampire. So I can add one mana of any color. I'm going to tap three for the Blood Flow Connoisseur, which is sacrifice a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Flow Connoisseur. And from there, I think it is finally time that I will pass the turn. All right. Man, LS, we're using follow, untapped on Let's see if I can follow the rules this turn. No shot. No shot. Difficulty impossible. Uh, that uh one two three yeah spoosh they just i need stuff to sack the ball archon 
Uh, when I cast that, I will extort. Uh, so everybody loses one, I gain three. And now, because Scion is actually on the battlefield, it will gain plus one, plus one from the extortion. Uh, mm, Marilink's now the problem. Then from there, uh, so what, what flyers, what's the flying situation here? You got a I have a five, Scrivener, five, a five, 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 five Scrivener. Um, and Quaza is that's on the field, right? That's not in the command Quaza's zone. Quaza's on the field, yes. Okay, not a flyer, notably. Notably, indeed. What I'll do then is, yeah, I don't think I have any board I'll in this swing deck, but I do the have a lot flyer of... at. Glow targeted so removal. Four yeah. coming at you in the air. Mold. And I actually will also it's a three four. Uh no, nah, just the flyer. God damn it. Okay. I haven't looked at Ulash three. Maybe I'll give them a get give them a shout. Oh, uh, that's it. All right, Manta Ray, find it. Find the out. Untap, upkeep. Draw outs. Weep openly. Oh boy, it ain't that. <laughs> um, I mean, I could. I couldn't do much with it. But it's like, I guess, you know, final... Final hurrah, I suppose. Man, I wish I had, like, removal or something in this deck, but imagine removal in Jeskai colors. Crazy. How many ticks is Lightning Bolt? 87. Oof. That's, that's a made-up number. Um, I'm gonna... I'm not sure what League character I would want the most... I'm gonna tap four, right? It is Paul Blart, sycophantic designs. It is not Alex Jones. On cast, I'm gonna scry oh one because of Jace's Sanctum. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is that? Um, the magic card. Gosh, you know, I really like all these awesome creatures. It's just the fact that I know I won't be able to keep them for a single turn. So it's like... Well, I mean, unless someone has a kill spell. That's what I'm trying to draw. <laughs> Listen, if anybody kills Aura, I will sacrifice Anawan to Bloodflow immediately. I don't give a fuck about keeping any of you down except Marilink. Send that to deck bottom. And then I'm I don't even have any ETBs in my graveyard right now. Alright. And then... We will do Land for Turn, which will be the Mystic Monastery, a.k.a. Shu Yun's house. <laughs> and then... Uh, my commander is Anya, Maid of Dishonor. It's just blood tokens on ETB... Spend mana and sack to drain people. Fuck, none of these are going to kill anything, and I don't like it. Uh... Let's tap two and borrow signet. Ooh, there's the out. Chris G, you have a good there night we as go well. Now. Thank you for coming by. It's so much Here. mana. How could it not be the out? Here comes the combo wombo. I pass turn. Beautiful play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And at right. maximum. And... Okay. I think on end step, I probably Draw... used the blood token to like discard That's eternal not quite away. what I meant, but okay. Um... Oh, right. First off, I gain a life and flick Mauled in the eyeball again. Deserved. 
But no, because I could just tap this and <laughs> but everything would go straight to my graveyard. So I'm gonna actually play turn. a Pursuit of Knowledge. Uh, so I'm gonna stop drawing cards. Okay. Uh, wait, does this only skip my draw step, or does it skip every time I draw a card? Well, it's a cost, so you can choose to pay it or not any time oh, you would draw it's a card. A cost. So yeah. Fascinating. So and so if you have the opportunity to draw a card, you can choose to skip it as a payment. So like off your thief trigger, um, or off your hypnotic grifter trigger, uh, you can just choose to skip the draw and put the yeah, put the study on that way. But I believe it's a choice you make at each um, opportunity you would have to draw a card. I did not know this existed, and this does not seem bad. It's just like not, because part of part of what makes things in Penny is like Penny isn't meant to be a commander format. So there's a lot of things where like this is unplayable dog shit in sixty card one v one. Sure. Because um, yeah. it's just so slow, but in commander it is like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Um. And then because I don't want to lose one of my three creatures, I'm going to go for the throw. Wait, wait, hold on. Did I read it incorrectly? No, I didn't read it incorrectly. Go for okay, the throw cool. should be artifacts. So in response, I am going to sacrifice Anawan to put a counter on Bloodflow Connoisseur. Okay. In response, I'm killing it first. Fair yeah. enough. In but response. Now I don't have to sacrifice things. Um, also, thank you to everybody who has come to watch the stream so far. If you have enjoyed my stuff so far, uh, please consider donating to the Patreon, liking and sharing my videos. We are trying to go full-time as a content creator, and every little bit helps. I am going to be coming out with more longer videos in the coming weeks to deliver on the shit that full-time content creators do. Uh, various Patreon tiers will allow you to vote on that stuff and see a bunch of behind the scenes actions as well as a variety of other uh, cool and fun shit. Pursuit. Okay. And... Manta Ray inches closer to the grave. I'm literally about to flatline. I'm so sorry. I feel like I think I'm the Ari's one who's done not the most gonna damage keep me to you. Alive. Uh, I feel like I'm the one who's done the most damage to you, but it's just because I wouldn't want to draw my cards. All right. I'm gonna what tap... makes you think that makes it valid for me? I'm gonna tap three black, I don't know. Um, and play Dark Prophecy, which is an enchantment. Whenever a creature I control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. I'm gonna pay two and. Uh, Oops. No, I'm not going to pay two, but I am going to sacrifice my 2 2 boar to the blood flow connoisseur. Really? So I lose one life and I draw a card. Oh, that's so fucking chill and cool. Um, I am going to move to combat. I'm going to swing Vincent Valentine at Glauth. Stop. Uh, four, five. Anything else to be concerned about no, other than no it other being attackers four, five? are being declared? Okay. Oh, and uh, I will put a counter on Vampire Scrivener because I lost a life to Dark Prophecy. Uh, I'll I'll just eat it. Okay, and then I will pay two mana. Um, and sacrifice a blood token. To gain two life, make you all lose two. Another counter will go on Vampire Scrivener. They are now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Then I'm going to tap two more to play the Blood Crazed Paladin, who will enter the battlefield with one counter because one creature has died this turn. And I will make yet another Blood Token because they are a vampire. And at this sure. point, I will pass the turn. 
Krimi right. and Jason, thank you very much for the subs. I appreciate it. And yes, these are blard um, arts. These are I have, uh, do I one of the do things I love that about untapped thing. I I do on your end step i'm going to tap a little swamp and activate uh ball archon's uh ability okay sacrifice a cleric target player loses two life you gain two life um so i'm going to sacrifice this copper confessor which has a cmc of five and with that aura trigger i'm going to bring whip grasp back and i promise to use it responsibly this time <laughs> okay um i will target <laughs> um no i won't do that i'll target mauled that's so nice of you i'll put another counter on scrivener yeah because it is during your turn it, it is yes oh uh, yeah you're right uh, well that was probably a misplay but you know what i'll take it um but i gain two oh, and i do have to get then the alpha. i'll go to my turn yeah what's oh crap uh, I passed instead of untapping. <laughs> can we just pretend that it's still my yeah, turn? Yeah, we can just pretend it's still your turn. We just we make right. believe. I, the end step fooled me. Uh, all right, so I got a swamp and zero card draw, which is so cool. Um, I'm going to... I mean, Manta's... Manta's what I'll do is I'm going to... I'm going to finish off Mana Ray by swinging for three with Aura. Unless there's a... Damn. No, my draw engine. Damn. Uh, oh, okay. No, my draw engine. No. <laughs> That's kind of why I did it. That's kind of why I did it. It's, not, it's more to stop Glywith, honestly. I gained three off the lifelink. Uh, when I gain life, I put a trigger on. Oh, actually, I also, I also gained a counter during Maul's end step when I did the sack. So oh, now... Yeah, um, cheater. So Scion is now... I don't know why it did that. Why did you it can separate just left those? Click, you can just left click on the counter okay. that's already there. And it'll tick them up. Alright, so Scion is now a 6-6. Now a six, six. Um, and I will also... Tap one and sack War Priest, a two Cabal, and do another target. I will target Mauled again. It's not your turn, so you don't get that. This is fucking cyberbullying. I will gain two more, and then Scion goes up another, so it is now a seven seven. So, Glauth, teams? Teams? Um. Script, do I is... want a potential to win, or do I want to continue flicking mod? Because flicking you is so fun. Scrivener is an eight-eight, right? Uh, yeah, but I think I will take seven, up that. Seven. I think I will take yes. up that offer. God bless you. Scrivener is an eight-eight right now. Yes. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to tap another black, and I'm going to sacrifice. Banisher Priest, which gets an aura trigger, so I bring War Priest back in because it's uh, CMC two. Okay. And I get my the... creature back. You do. You do. You do get your creature back, and I, I weighed the cost, but I'm also going to destroy your Pursuit of Knowledge again with War Priest ETB. Goddamn, Dingo Wizard! Thank you for stopping by. And that gives me another Scion counter, so it is now an 8-8. Okay. With that, I will swing the Scion at Mauled. Okay, in response, I'm going to tap one mana. Wait, didn't you... Didn't you do combat already and by finishing off melee? Oh yeah, you finished off oh, shoot, Manta. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You're right. fucking shit all over. Cheater! <laughs> Cheater! Uh, so that was my that was my second main. Uh so he's but he the the, the counter stay. Yeah, the counter stay. And he he's an eight eight stay in pat. Yeah. yeah. That's that's my turn. Okay. Okay. Apologies for that. Good catch. Thank you. 
Yes. Uh, so it's my turn now. I'm going to get... Uh, Manta does have to pass this one turn, and then I can set them to... Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Uh, I'm going to skip my draw step uh, to a pursuit of your... knowledge. Well, your pursuit should still go away, because the War Priest of Thune stuff yeah. will still happen. I, I oh, destroyed I... the pursuit of knowledge. Oh, I didn't hear that. I'm a cheater. Apologies. We're all That's okay. I've cheated here. several times. Top deck like a god. Not quite. Yeah, Merrilink discovered the hidden infinite combats strat of just keep declaring new combats after every <laughs> main phase. <laughs> Don't you get if we could have done combat? that, I would have played a Tali. Like, no who, lie. Needs, who needs Boros for multiple combat phases? I just try to slide an extra combat in at the end, you know? What are you going to be done? Uh, I, un momento. Look, he put a 1-1 counter on something, get him. Yeah, I mean, like, here's the thing. I don't know what other synergies you go with other than prowess. Like, you just have to go for solid pump. Respectful resignation. I mean, if you just reopen untapped, it should also port you back I into the game we're already playing. Reopened untapped. There we go. Oh, God. Please. Oh, God. Load? Thank you. Um... I, need my, I need my teammate to beat Marilyn. Okay, so I do draw... Uh, gain one life. You do not need to add your own token. Like Merrill Link in the eyeball. Fair. I cannot I think... remember which click. And then we all lose one off of Cliffhaven. This is true. Rai, there, I feel like there's no way Tainted Strike is only sure. the Why only penny. No, do I want to the bad? The decisions are hard. I think that's more important, yeah. I'm going to play a Revenant for five. Uh, okay. Untap, please load. Untap, please load. So it's four creatures right now. Okay, uh, I'm just going to let my mana base do whatever the hell it wants because it refuses to actually tap. Yeah, you got it. Right. <laughs> What's in my graveyard? What? You have four in your graveyard right now. I have four creatures in my graveyard? Great. Um... Yeah, but I would have figured Tainted was like good yeah, enough I can't that actually play either, people wouldn't... I... That it wouldn't be under two ticks. Because that's what we're... That's we'll the unfortunately, just pass turn. All right, on my upkeep, I'm going to fucking scream. Uh, my pursuit of knowledge was exiled off of Banisher Priest, right? No, no pursuit you're, of knowledge was destroyed. Was... Oh, uh, the uh, War Priest of Thune. Yeah, okay. ETB on War Priest gotcha. of Thune from the graveyard. Yep. All right, so we'll gotcha. untap, upkeep, draw. That's not the out. We are going to um, pay one, discard a land. Sacrifices blood token uh, to draw one. Fucking kill me. Okay, we are going to sack the blood crazed paladin to Anya's ability. So I'm going to pay two to do that. Uh, you all lose two. I gain two, and then I lose one to grim to dark prophecy. So Scrivener will get two additional counters, and I'll draw a card. Kill me. Alright, I'm gonna tap one for the Springleaf Drum. 
tap three for network terminal. I'm gonna pay one, tap network terminal, and tap Springleaf Drum to draw a card and then discard a card. And then- Would you tap a creature with uh, Springleaf Drum? Yeah, but I'm not tapping it for mana. I'm tapping it as part of network terminal's cost, oh. which is tap another oh. untapped artifact you control. Uh, and then I'm going to tap two and play Fatal Grudge. I'm going to choose a land. Oh, non-land permanent, because I- Got non-lands, non-lands. So I'll take that land back out. I'm going to sacrifice the Spring Leaf Drum. Uh, so each opponent chooses an artifact that share. So each of you choose an artifact, our artifact, and sacrifice it, and then I get to draw a card. A, a permanent, right? Yes. Oh, because okay. you sacrifice an artifact. I yes. see. I see. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess I. In response, just... I'm going to activate Elixir of Immortality. Okay. That's fair. Uh, and then I'm going to pass. We're also coming to the end of our budgeted time. So if none of us can win in the next five to 10 minutes, we are gonna have to move to the top deck gambling contingency. Uh, but Marilink, it's your turn. All right. Untap, I, unfortunately, I don't know no, if I have a, cost. a, I don't have a win con that necessarily gets us there that quickly. Um, tapping one, two. Uh, playing Norn's Wellspring. Oh my gosh, untapped, please. Norn's Wellspring, whenever you control, whenever a creature you control dies, scry one, put an oil counter. I could tap one and uh, tap to draw a card. Come on. All right, I'm going to tap one yeah. to play sacrifice War Priest of Thune to call Archon. Uh, I'm going to make Maul lose life, I will gain life. And that gives a trigger to Scion. 30 lands, 30 lands are in this deck. I will also, then that also gives a, um, a counter on Nord's Wellspring and I get to scry one. Greg Fisher, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. As I handed my dad his 50th birthday card, he looked at me with tears in his eyes and said, you know, one would have been enough. That is a good dad joke. That is a good solid dad joke. I wish that I could do it to my dad, but he's dead as fuck. But that is a very, the idea of just handing out, I, I can only hope that one day, uh, actually, no, you can't because it would be bad for me. Legally, you can. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say you're not allowed to activate whip grass because it would probably hurt me. I will I will uh, activate whip grass and I will target uh, vampire scrivener. Okay. So it cannot attack or block this turn. Yep. Then I will tap one and sack whip grass, which gives me an aura trigger to bring back war priest of Thune, and I'm gonna target dark prophecy. Okay. I also. I'm going Gain to, another... in response, oh. uh, sack Anya to Bloodflow Connoisseur. Okay. And so I'll lose the one life, but I get to draw a card because I need some fucking outs. And then Dark Prophecy will go away. Okay. So I'll target you again, Maul, yeah, with I Ball. Lost. Uh, so you lose two, I gain two. Because I just don't have. I'm just that, drawing. I, like, I also I got another counter on Sion on there, shit. and I get a charge on Nord's Wellspring. I scry one. That I will keep on top. And then I'm going to tap one, and Nord's Wellspring, and remove two oil counters. Two, draw a card. That'll stay in my hand for now. So Anya is sacked. Um, Blood Flow is just a one one, Blood right? Blood Flow is a four four because they get a oh, counter okay. every time I sacrifice something to them. Okay, I I now see the counters on on Blood Flow. Thank you. 
Um, I'm coming at you with ten in the air. Three on the ground from Aura, and another two on the ground from War Priest. So we got 15 coming at you total. Okay, I'm going to block Aura with Bloodflow Connoisseur, and then I'll take the other 12. Did War Priest not enter this turn? No. Oh. They entered last turn to bomb your, bomb your draw enchantment. Actually, wait. No, he's right. I, I did. I sacked it and brought it back. Oh, you oh, yeah. You hit your enchantment. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, right. Because yeah. I got your. Oh, yeah. Them so this, this, that right. does have summoning sickness. Um, but I, I, I will instead, I'll just keep Aura. So I Aura dies. When Aura dies, I get a trigger off of him. And I get Banisher Priest. I'm going to target Scrivener with Banisher Priest, ETB. I'm going to sack them to Connoisseur when you target them with that. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, Scion gets a counter, but I think that applies after after damage. Yes. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay. So now the game is basically answer swarm, or the game's over. I do have a few infinite combos in here that win me the game. Question is, there's can I draw... infinites in Penny? What the fuck? I know. Well, there's cards that have, whenever you gain a life, draw a card. Ah, so. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw one. Do I win? Top deck, a basic land. It's Beautiful. over. Beautiful. I mean, you've got Kanai, um, you've got combat damage draw. Yeah, I'm going to pay three... Actually, I'm not going to tap my blue source. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, because I cannot tap land for some reason, I'm just going to say I tap three swamps Okay. to connive, draw a card. That is not win. Um, that is very funny, though. I'm going to discard a Cephalid Retainer. All of the cards in my hand require two blue, so I'm going to connive again, tapping my other two swamps and a plains. Draw a card. Yeah, great. Hit me with that. Hit me with the MTG burn. That's funny. Uh, discard Staffled Constable. Uh, so my Hypnotic Grifter is now a 3 4. Actually, I'm going to do right now. Did I put the second Staffled away? I did. Yes, I did. Uh, and then I'm going to tap my last planes to play a Soul Warden. Okay. Oh, I forgot off, off of my draw. I gain a life. Uh, flick Merrillink in the eyeball, and both of you lose a life. mauled i will respectfully ask can i hit you with just cnp actually would that kill you no it would not uh yeah because you haven't cast it's just one right i'll let you hit me for one yeah it's just one yeah so i'm gonna hit you with just cnp draw a card draw a card question mark wait thank you um It's not okay. Uh, flick Merlin the eyeball again. Both of you lose a life. Pass turn. Mauled, please win. I mean, there's no shot I win. The best thing that could happen is okay, and I drew one of the worst cards that possible at this time. And the top of Swamp, Network Terminal, and Chromatic Lantern to draw, then discard. Discarding a Swamp. 
I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to tap three mana to make it become night. And then whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, I gain a life. I may draw a card and I discard a card after. Okay, uh, and then I just um, die at this point, and so I will pass. So right. now in a 30 land deck, I have flooded. Uh, it is the Kaza deck that is flicking. Well, I get a swamp. Because they have Kaza and Cliff Haven, um, and so it's Kaza and to gain life and to make everybody one, lose life. Two. Uh, and actually. This just sucks because I touch uh, so uh, many more cards. Uh, I tap two. Then like half. Uh, LSO then the core other non-card decks. Uh, and I didn't see two two I death touch whenever another creature enters battlefield under my control. Gain one whenever another creature uh, dies. Oh yeah, I saw uh, soft the opponent removal loses one. that wouldn't have worked against. I gain uh, life off of that with the soul warden. You um, do. I have like six or seven. Which means I flick both of you for one. Here. Okay. All right. Oh, sure. Uh, I mean, sure, I still need to discard. But there's no just see. in case, because he has a, like, he I has so much damage on board that it doesn't matter. I just happens. swing it uh, in the air at Mauled with Scion. Coward. All right. I've set myself to skip in the turn order. I am dead. Okay. And uh, Blackout, this is untap.in. Let's we'll see if we can finish this in three minutes. Uh, draw a card. Win the game. No, I don't. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Huh. Um. So I'm going to gain a life. Flick you for two. Which is going to matter so much. Play a... Sanguine blood. Because the death via a million paper cuts. Can I move you? Okay. All right. So Question why do we use untap and not cockatrice? Uh because I like the funny arts. I understand that, but and that's also, I mean it's oh why God. we use like we use untap for the casual stuff because I like the interface overall better and then we use cockatrice for all the tournaments because of the lag issues. That's her. Although you can download funny arts for cockatrice. Just yeah, thief is like untapped. Uh, that's fair. Okay. Um so I'm going to tap I got fucking three robs. of my this deck was the goat. Uh, prompts to cycle again. One, two, three, four. Draw, draw a card. There's another. Chessy and Thief is untapped for reference. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, I went through a third of my deck and didn't see a single... Kill target like creature spell. Which is fucking Thank ridiculous. Thank God. Okay, know. draw a card. Do I do I get the card? Okay. Um, the and then I'm going to card. discard a Cephalid Constable. This one wouldn't have saved me. It was too uh, little too late the amount because of counters. I lost too much life to whatever I removed. I'm also but going to gain a life off of that and deep. ping you for four. Uh, Wait, Shaped one... Glauth is Glauth is I also, I don't mind untap because my lag issues with it have never been as bad as other people have presented to me. So I don't know if that's a browser issue, I don't know if that's a internet connection issue, but I have not had the lag issues that other people talk about with untap um, unless I have a board with like 50 fucking things on it. Uh, 
What's up, G-Unit? Good to see you. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, Fire Drake. Like, Coxtrice is also kind of mega annoying to figure out when you're first starting. We have a guide in our Discord written by a very helpful member, but it is, like, super frustrating. Wait, War Priest didn't go away. Go away. Thank you. Uh, there are no triggers on those because Aura is dead. Um, I get two counters on Norn's Wellspring for those two sacks. Uh, and then I'll tap one and tap Norn's to draw a card. Okay. That was all end step. Uh, Fire Drake, it yep. used to be like all untap. untap. We've been using Cockatrice more. Draw the... Uh, because we do oh, like man. the functionality, and there are a number of people that have a lot of trouble um, making untap work in a serviceable manner. We, we got to be done. I don't think I can get it done in time. So Aura, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aura's coming back in. Uh, when he comes in, I gain a life, and Scion gets another trigger, and Wait, did you have prismatic ones? Wait, didn't you ranges. pay two for prismatic ones? Oh. Am I miscounting? Life is a resource. Now, unfortunately, at this point, we are over time for stream. So the way the top deck contingency works is the active player, so Merrilink and Glaoth, you're going to take turns revealing cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card, very much like Cascade. Whichever one of you reveals the more expensive card is the winner. So Merrilink, you will go first. If you reveal a land card, Glaoth will go, and you'll go back and forth one at a time until we have a non-land card out. Uh, so just do, if you click on your deck and do draw to play, just draw to play one. Spirited Companion, big fucking two. Glauth, top deck, three or more mana, and you win the game. Yeah, so draw to play. All right, it's a land. So go again, Glauth. We're going till we, we're going till we hit non-land. So the, the only like bad things, amass the components, four mana for Glauth. And so Glauth is the victor. But I have to say, I really, really liked all of these decks. I think they all did a surprising amount of stuff for um, how like limited the format is. Uh, Yeah, from the from the arena game I played, Aura is super fucked up once you hit three clerics. Like, once you have Aura, a thing that will let you sacrifice, and then another cleric to build the ladder with, it is, like, so impossible to get anything done until you, unless you have, like, the right targeted removal. Um, but very good deck, Marilink. I liked it very much. Glad it's very good deck to you as well. Uh, and Manta, we apologize for the fierce cyberbullying because that's very much what it was after like two two explosive prowess turns, and then every and then everybody pushed Manta into a corner and kicked them. Uh, but thank you all very much for playing. We are going to be playing Kingdoms next week, which is a five-player format. There will be a message going up in our Discord in like the next two minutes announcing those signups we're changing how they get pulled we are going to be pulling winners on friday 
off stream at 5 p.m. Pacific. So you will have between that message going up and 5 p.m. Pacific on Friday to react with an emoji, at which point we'll pull them from random.org and announce who our players are. We're going to be playing with four people. Kingdoms is like Among Us Commander. The rules will be explained in the sign-up post. Uh, so thank you to everybody. G Unit, thank you very much for the $5 sandwich super chat. I love you too, fellow citizen. Uh, I appreciate it very much, and I'm sorry that the stream has to be over now, but thank you to everybody who watched. Uh, thank you to everybody who likes my dumb shit.